What's up, YouTube? I'm back out here at it again. Uh, fix the hoop lock so that don't flop and bend like it was doing. Now, fixed it by uh, putting some urethane up and all these uh, indentions here, like there and there. Uh, but only got half of it done so far. I didn't have enough uh, curtains. I just filled it up with urethane here your thing there there and in the back and I'll put the curtains up here my buddy John said it uh it take has to cure overnight so tomorrow I'll take it off and do the other sides and um till I get it all done I mean it'll take a couple days but so far I mean even even just that the hood flop is pretty much gone but I still need to do this one and get some more over in these on this side here but also I uh, ordered this tail light panel from not tail light panel but a bumper filler panel from classic industries and it the fitment on it it is aftermarket so it sucks but I figure with a little TLC I can get the fit a little bit better um, you can tell the gaps off here and in the front there. Also here, the line is off. It's off here. It's a little bit worse on this side with the gaps. And uh, down here on the bottom. But I got a little fiberglass and experience, so I think I could take care of it. Also, uh, Test fitted this cow panel here with the uh, the hood and the fenders. They don't have any. They don't have uh, all the bolts in them. They don't have any shims in them. So it's a little off. I mean, it's not perfect, but the hood it doesn't have any of the bump stops on it or the hood latch. I just wanted to see what it looked like because. I read some reviews online on the company that I got it from. It was some good ones and it was some bad ones, so I figured I'd check it. But hey, they they did me a square one. I don't have any uh, bad things to say about them. I know as much bad reviews as they had, and I might go ahead, go on there and write them a good one. Cause hell, I didn't I didn't have any low spots or high spots that I can feel or I can see, and. I mean, so that's that's pretty well. That's good in my book. I mean, you could I could have got a lot worse. I've seen guys on YouTube that's got a lot worse from out of the package. So I think I got a square deal. Also got uh, my front end rebuild kit in there out the mail. I ordered it off of uh, eBay and got all this. But it comes. I guess I got it from uh, getdiscbreaks.com is where I orig it originally came from and it got this, these guys on it, Tim Raz or whatever. So I got everything that came on this sheet here, got everything that came on this sheet here. Plus uh, I had to order the ILO on separate, but on eBay it, it was included in the price. It just it wasn't in that kit that was on that sheet. So, uh, but yeah, I mean that's all I got going on right now. I'm gonna get back to scraping seam seal and uh, sanding where I need to until I can start on this metal work. Go on vacation this week, so hopefully, uh, my buddy can get over here and teach me a few things get this stuff done I'm ready to learn it so y'all take it easy it's just a little short video I'll come at you if I get more all right y'all take it easy